Jonathan Oxier Sweep, The Story of a Girl and Her Monster, 2018, is a captivating tale crafted for middle-grade audiences. It follows the courageous Nan Sparrow, a young chimney sweep who receives an extraordinary gift from her paternal figure, the sweep a protective monster known as a golem. Throughout the narrative, Nan confronts adversity and destitution in her quest for a better life, forming deep bonds with her companions and creating a semblance of family along the way. The novel has garnered widespread acclaim, earning prestigious accolades such as the Sydney Taylor Book Award, 2019, the Charlotte Huck Award, 2019, the Mythopoeic Fantasy Award, 2019, and the Governor General Award for Young People's Literature, 2018. Additionally, it has been nominated for several other notable awards, including the Judy Lopez Memorial Award for Children's Literature, 2019, the Rebecca Cottle Young Readers Book Award, 2021, the Vermont Golden Dunn Book Award, 2020, and the California Young Readers Medal, 2021. Nan's story unfolds against the backdrop of London, England, where she is initially raised by the enigmatic chimney sweep, referred to only as the sweep. However, when Nan is six years old, the sweep inexplicably disappears, setting the stage for Nan's journey. While the primary focus of the narrative revolves around Nan at the age of 11, interspersed italicized chapters provide insight into her formative years with the sweep. After the sweep's disappearance, Nan finds herself indentured to Wilkie Crud, the ruthless proprietor of the clean sweep chimney sweeping business. Forced to reside with other children in squalid conditions, enduring hunger and abuse, Nan's existence is bleak and devoid of love. However, amidst the cruelty, she forms a connection with Miss Bloom, a compassionate schoolteacher, during a chance encounter at a seminary. Nan's life takes a remarkable turn when, trapped in a chimney by a malicious fellow sweep, she discovers the true nature of a piece of char left behind by the sweep. It is revealed to be a golem, imbued with the power to animate when exposed to heat, offering Nan a glimmer of hope in her otherwise bleak circumstances. As smoke billows and flames menace Nan, the golem, later christened Charlie, awakens and rescues her. Together, they flee the oppression of crud, finding solace in the house of 100 chimneys, an abandoned dwelling rumored to be haunted. Transforming the vast space to suit their needs, they designate rooms for various activities, games, study, and rest. Dubbing it the captain's house, in homage to its former seafaring owner, they repurpose its furnishings and possessions. As Charlie evolves, acquiring language skills, Nan resolves to fashion him a physical form, his current manifestation as a coal lump impedes his tasks. Through painstaking efforts, Charlie emerges from the basement transformed into a humanoid figure, albeit misshapen. In their quest for understanding, Nan and Charlie delve into a tome titled The Illustrated Book of Beasts from the Captain's Library, leading Nan to recognize Charlie as a golem from Jewish folklore. Seeking insight, she consults her friend Toby, a local Jewish boy, who, while unaware of golems, aids her in constructing a mechanical chimney sweep. Meanwhile, Nan revisits the seminary to procure books to educate Charlie, where she reconnects with Miss Bloom, who becomes impressed by Nan's voracious reading. Delving into her Jewish heritage, Miss Bloom elucidates the purpose of golems, instilling Nan with anxiety over Charlie's fate. As winter descends, Charlie experiences the wonder of snow, reveling in its purity alongside Nan and Toby. Their joy is interrupted by the sight of Roger, sporting Nan's hat, a relic from the sweep. Nan retaliates with a snowball, but Toby warns her of Crud's ongoing pursuit. Despite the danger, they clandestinely distribute Christmas gifts to their comrades, forging bonds of camaraderie on Christmas night. On New Year's Eve, Charlie, Toby, and Nan revel in their shared bond, cherishing their makeshift family amidst the trials they face. One day, while Nan continues her work as a chimney sweep, she's approached by a woman on the street seeking her services, offering to pay double. Nan agrees and heads to the designated house, only to find herself trapped by Crud, who threatens her with dire consequences. Crud's plan is to stage Nan's demise in a chimney, aiming to deceive the board of works and recover a fine levied against him for her supposed death at the seminary. However, Charlie intervenes, severely injuring Crud and tossing him out of a window, leaving him disfigured and vengeful. In the aftermath, Nan explains to Charlie that his instinctive defense of her stems from his life's purpose, to protect her. Amidst the turmoil, a robin nests in the attic, dubbed the Nothing Room by Nan and Charlie, laying an egg. Though Charlie eagerly anticipates its hatching, he accidentally breaks it, leading to profound distress. 
In a desperate bid to save the dying bird, Charlie sacrifices part of himself, resulting in one of his hands turning to stone. Affectionately named Dent, the revived bird becomes Charlie's cherished companion. Meanwhile, Miss Bloom suggests Nan speak to the Friendly Society, a group interested in social reform, about the plight of chimney sweeps. Instead, Nan sends her friend Newt, still under Crud's indenture. Newt's charisma captivates a woman who wishes to adopt him, but Crud's refusal leads to tragic consequences when Newt falls to his death from a factory flu during negotiations. Devastated by Newt's demise, Nan and her allies decide to repurpose the annual May Day March, traditionally a celebration for chimney sweeps, into a silent protest against the injustices they face. Rather than donning fresh attire, they don their soot-stained sweep clothes and proceed in solemn silence. Arriving at the square, beneath the towering matchstick chimney, a symbol commemorating the fire of London, the children clutch signs bearing the names, ages, and tragic fates of their departed comrades lost to the treacherous chimneys. Among them, they carry Newt's coffin high. In the planned march, Charlie is meant to embody the green man, a revered figure in the procession. However, Roger deceives him, luring him onto a boat on the Thames and casting him adrift. Undeterred, Charlie scales a pylon of the London Bridge and rushes to join the assembly beneath the matchstick. Meanwhile, Crud ambushes Nan, threatening her life. Desperately fleeing, Nan ascends the matchstick, pursued by Crud's menacing taunts. He proclaims the callous indifference of Londoners to the plight of chimney sweep children. In a twist of fate, it is Crud who plummets to his demise. Though Nan also falls, she lands in a canopy, grievously wounded. Charlie arrives in the nick of time, carrying Nan to the cemetery, where the sweep rests. Connected to the sweep's memories, Charlie shares recollections of their shared experiences, offering solace in Nan's final moments. Sacrificing his remaining life force, Charlie transforms into stone above the sweep's grave. The impact of the May Day protest is profound, leading to legislative change prohibiting children under 13 from chimney sweeping. Miss Bloom and the Pleasant Society acquire the captain's house, transforming it into a haven for retired sweeps. Toby and Nan, now collaborators, pay homage at the cemetery where the sweep and Charlie lie frozen in stone. In a poignant gesture, Dent the Robin nests in the shelter of Charlie's stony embrace. I hope you enjoyed this video, leave a like if you did, and be sure to subscribe thank you.